Sylvain, Sylvain Young Solo Traveler, this is Aya. So today we're going back to our motherland, the continent of Africa. There are 10 countries where we can take a vacation and also what we have to do once we get there. It's an article written by Judy Kowski of Smarter Travel. People tend to think of Africa as a country, which is true, we all know, not a continent, but with 54 countries calling it home. Africa topography, landscape, and activities vary drastically by region. She said she has been to the continent 26 times and each time she goes, she's always surprised at just how many new things there are to see and do. So where to go in Africa? To make it easier for you to plan a trip, she has highlighted some of the most popular countries and the best places to go in Africa, as well as what to do and see, where to go and where to stay. Hopefully, this primer will get you motivated to hop on a plane. It's worth the long flight to get there. So the number one country is Uganda. And I know most of us are thinking about Kenya. No, it's Uganda. Uganda is one of only three countries in the world where you can trek to see mountain gorilla in the wild. There are only 1,000 mountain gorilla left in the world. The experience in Uganda is truly amazing. Gahinga Gorilla National Park in Uganda is home for the Niagazeki Gorilla family with a two silver back. Adult male. is the adult male that has the silver back. Since it is a rainforest, there is a chance you will get wet anytime so there is no really bad time to go just be sure to pack appropriately number two kenya and tanzania kenya and tanzania are often combined in one trip many people consider these two countries among the best place to go in africa because they are where you can find the great migration where two million wild bees, zebra, gazelle make a migratory circle from the Masa Mara in Kenya to the Serengeti in Tanzania and back. And of course, Tanzania is home to the Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest tip on the continent. One of the great bucket list hiking destinations in the entire world. Avoid the long rain in April and May if you are going to catch the migration. It is July through September. Okay? So July through September you can see the great migration. Then we have Zambia and Zimbabwe. Head to these two countries to see Victoria Fall, the largest waterfall in the world. As you can see, we are number one in everything. Plus, you can go white water rafting down the Zambezi River, chock full of croc and hippos. It will be an amazing experience and one that she highly recommended. Additionally, Zambia focuses on fantastic working safari in wonderful national park 
like South Luanga and the lower Zambezi. Peak season will be the winter time when it is dry and mild. Anywhere from June through September is ideal time. It can be also very hot from October through January. Then I give a shout out to Cecil Diary, talking about a country, Namibia. In Namibia, you can climb some of the highest sand dunes in the world. Or better yet, take a hot hair balloon ride over them. The scenery is dramatic and vote. Namibia into the discussion for one of the best places to go in Africa. So, Sizzle Diary, here we come. It is more about the dynamic landscape with a breathtaking. So, the view is unforgettable. If you can, avo if you can afford the stopover, it is worth doing a living dessert tour a ghost town tour and an overflight of a skeleton coast. Namibia is a year-round destination. But remember that since it is a desert environment, you can get a bit shift any days of the year, from very hot to very cold. Pack both warm weather and cool clothes. Botswana. This country focus is on high-end, low-impact tourists. So the properties are all very luxurious and the crowd you see in East Africa are noticeably absent here. It were to go in Africa for up-close wildlife experience without crowd. Plus the landscape is simply stunning with the Okavango Delta. So instead of traditional game drive by vehicle, you will be able to go outdoor in Mokoro traditional dugout canoe which bring you eye level with the game. Nothing says safari like being five feet away from a bathing elephant. Then from there, we're going to South Africa. From shark cage diving and malaria free safari zone to experiencing the flavor of Durban, an enclave of Indian culture in Africa that rests right on the Indian Ocean. South Africa combined a European and African flair. Now we're going up north. Egypt, visiting the pyramid and taking a cruise up, yes, up the Nile River is a bucket list adventure for good reason. Egypt is the cradle of Western civilization. Few experiences can measure up to the massive scale of the pyramid and the sphinx. You see? Discover the Ashwan Island by Feluca. The Feluca is a traditional sailboat or privately tour the Egyptian Museum of Antiquities, home to artifacts recovered from Tutankhamun tomb. This part of North Africa appealed to history buff and those interested in a cultural journey. Then we have Morocco. Why go to Morocco? Visit the famous spice market 
and entrench yourself in Arab culture with the history stretching back nearly 10,000 years the country great cities such as Marrakesh, Tangier, Fez and Rabat. Rabat is the capital of a look into tradition. Morocco offers so many different kinds of experiences. You can do a camel trek in the Sahara Desert and you can sleep under the star, had a tea with nomadic Berber to learn about their lifestyle. In Marrakech, known as the Red City, there is plenty to grab your attention. A mass is the Gima El Fana, the la largest market in Morocco and the biggest square in Africa. Make sure to have a walk around the square in the evening when musicians, dancers and storytellers come out. Wander around the mini souk is the market adjacent to Jema El Fana where you can buy everything from spices to teapot. So this is it. Thank you for watching. Again, please be safe. Bye-bye.